Okay, recommended reading, you know what, so here are some things per ISACA that are the, you know, must, should, could. Um, interestingly enough, everything here on the list comes from, oh, ISACA, huh, interesting. So I will tell you this, I think that the SISM uh, course manual the review manual is an absolutely decent, you know, reference guide to keep by your side. I think it's always a good idea to go through a glossary before you take a certification exam. You can Google, you know, um, SISM glossary and you'll find some really good sources. So the big point that I'm trying to make to you here is even though there are some great resources to have, I don't want you to feel like you need to go out and spend a lot more money right? So I think what we do in this course, particularly if you're able to utilize Kaplan's uh, review questions to study and help kind of teach you the way of the SISM exam, and, you know, uh, your, your own experience with information security management, risk management, you know, ideally, um, those should be enough to help you feel prepared for this exam. Okay, so that's my input. Um, a lot of this material, like the risk IT framework, we're going to be going over in this course. And then, like I said, Googling some other resources is always helpful. All right, so for the qualification, uh, like I mentioned, isaca.org is where you're going to go. There is an application you have to fill out. You need five years of experience uh, in the related fields. Um, what was I going to say? And you can, um, f you can uh, waive one of those years experience if you have a certification like CISSP or some of the other technical certifications. With your application, again, you'll have to document that you've worked in the various areas. Again, I'm going to ask you to go to isaca.org, SISM app, or just isaca.org to review the qualifications that are necessary for SISM. Again, they'll tell you on that site, as well as here, what you need to do to finish the certification after you pass your exam. All right, so that's all the preliminary stuff, just to get that out of the way and, and give you a sense about uh, the exam and what the course is going to cover. And now let's just go ahead and jump in. Let's go right into the information and let's begin looking at Domain 1, Information Security Governance. All right, so the way these modules, these domains begin is uh, we'll talk about the learning objectives and each section has a series of task and knowledge statements. And ultimately, that's input from ISACA that by the completion of the exam, this is the knowledge you should walk out with and these are the tasks that you should be comfortable. So each module will start with those, we'll look at them. But in this module specifically, we're going to start talking about who is a SISM and what will they do? What should somebody who's a certified information security manager bring to an organization? What's our priority once we get out in the field? All right, so we're going to start by talking about what our priorities are. We'll look at corporate governance and talk a, a lot about how governments is, governance is different than management. And just to sum it up quickly, governance is what we want to do. Management is how. So we have to start with governance. All right, well, part of governance is going to be to develop our information security strategy to help us figure out where we want to be, strategically speaking, down the line and how we're going to get there. All right, then we'll look at an information security program, but we'll look at this at a high level. Domain three is actually just exclusively focused on an information security program. So we're just going to talk about what that program is at a high level and how it fits into our strategic objectives and, and getting there. All right, we'll talk about the roles and responsibilities within our organization. Really important that we have clearly defined roles and responsibilities, that we implement separation of duties, and we're very distinct with who does what. And we want to make sure that there's no ambiguity across departments and across roles. We want to spell things out as clearly as possible. All right, we'll also talk about evaluating our security program, determining are we... Um, 
Are we providing the value that we're supposed to be providing? Is our security program, are the steps that we're taking, are they working? Are we doing what we want to be doing and are we doing it well? All right, and then the last little piece here, we'll talk a little bit about ethics. Um, ISACA has their own code of ethics and ethical expectations, certainly are fair game for the exam, but also just really important to know and to understand those ethical standards.